Senua. We each walk these lands, gazing towards different horizons, some of us further than others. Your father cannot see what you see, but there is nothing wrong with seeing the world the way you do. Yes, I heard their screams, and I still hear them now. To hell hand the seal to the living, but you already walk amongst the dead. Look towards the gate, and you will see that it has opened. First came to my lands, 
I knew enough of their tongue to beg for mercy, and they took me as a slave. I wish now that they had slaughtered me like the others. I rode their storm of fire, death, slavery to many lands. This darkness you speak of? <laughs> I know it well. And I'm still here to fight it. Just have to find it. Sirt is waiting for you. It was never going to be that easy. He's waiting. <laughs> Sirt is waiting. He can't find, him. find him. The pyre.
The Northmen tell this story. Before the Earth was created, there was a world called Muspel. Because it was in the south, it was bright and hot, flaming, burning. Sparks that flew out from Muspel became the stars. Other sparks melted ice in the frozen world of Niflheim, creating the body of the first giant, Ymir. Muspel is one of the nine worlds and is now the land of the fire giants. And people from elsewhere cannot endure a journey there. The Northmen made fire sacrifices, burning slaves like me to reveal the path to Surt. I searched for meaning in their suffering, in their eyes. But they just screamed like helpless pigs. your prayers, Senua. I asked the gods for mercy, all of them, even theirs. None answered. In the end, I set myself free. Defy the gods, Senua! Find your own path, like I find mine! My gods abandoned me! I am alone. Northmen of Hell worship the Devourers, insatiable gods of darkness. I come from Eren, Senua, where I once followed my own gods, the Tuatha de Danann. Why did you abandon your gods? Senua, I was a man of knowledge, not a warrior. To survive, I did things. Bad things. 
Like you, Cinema. The man I once was has died. And when that happens, even gods you worship can die with you. Northmen say that the defender of Muspel is called Surt, the foremost of the fire giants. His name means the Black One, because he is like something burnt. The Northmen believe that he sits at the border of Muspel with his flaming sword, and at the end of the world he will leave his post. He will travel to Asgard and Midgard, waging war against all the gods. He will be victorious, and then burn the whole world with fire. Have the courage. 
courage to shed your tears. Raise your world to the prime! My world is dead. Only then, as with a newborn, will you see the world anew. No, I see nothing now. Tell me truth. How did you escape your darkness? Senua, once I found my purpose, I was no longer enslaved to the suffering I had to endure to reach it. Unclouded by fear, I could see it clearly in others. Even my captors feared the fire of Surt. And so, during one raid, I took my chance and ran, knowing that they would not follow. The fool ran into the fire. <laughs> they left me for dead. Maybe they were right to. But here I am. Free. I'm glad I found you in the wilds. I wouldn't have made it without you. Northmen believe that the world will be destroyed someday. They call it Ragnarok, the destiny of the gods. Asgard will be attacked by Surt and the fire giants. A monstrous wolf will swallow the sun, and the gods will fight in vain against their enemies. There is nothing they can do to prevent it, but Odin ever seeks knowledge and magic, hoping, hoping to find a way to postpone that dark day.
so can you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This darkness takes everything. Everyone. Senua. Are you sure you want to do this? We can fight this together. Side by side. We always do. This is my battle. I have to face it alone, away from here. Where will you go? I don't know. For how long? I don't know. I believe in you. You know that. Just promise me that you will come back to me. I want you to say it. I want you to say it. I will come back to you. I promise. Everything! <laughs>
for every battle won, a greater battle takes its place. But so it goes, until we fall. And in the end, we all fall. Even the gods have their time. Yet we still go on. Why? I made a promise. And I will go to hell to keep it. I die free. Knowing you will carry my stories with you. Ruth was a troubled man, a scholar turned slave. They tortured him, took him with them on their raids, drove him to madness, spreading this new form of darkness to new worlds, to my world. Senua saw a deep connection formed between the Northmen and the darkness. His tales of hell were true. Then that was the source of it. She learned everything she could from him. Until she too could see what he saw. of self is shattered, you simply cease to be. Though it may not seem that way to others, you know when it is true. You can feel it, a stranger in your own body, an imposter, and nothing is the same ever again. Senua has died before. She will do so again. You can be sure of that.
the gate? She can't. Why? She's only done one test. One test. Just one. She's test. only passed one test. What's the other test? test? Is there another one? There must be. The gate won't open. Ruth said Val Raven. Val Raven. Don't <laughs> close. The Northmen say that in the beginning there was nothing but darkness. Bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice, which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice, and the first giant was born, and was named Emir. The ice continued to drip, and the power of the void gave life to it, and it became a cow, whose milk fed the giant. That's right, a cow, but you weren't expecting that. Ancestor of the Seers and master of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. Follow the path to Valraven and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened.